Armageddon has already started. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said the battle will be in the sky. It just don't mean airplanes. See, the battle has already begun. The battle is for the mind. Satan battling for your mind. God battling for your mind. Now, man, listen, that's profound. Now, I do want to speak on Malcolm, right, before we sure. have out of here. So, I think it's Muhammad Aziz and Khalil Islam, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have been exonerated. Now, now that's after... I'm not guilty, y'all, just so you know. Yes. Now, that's after you guys been telling us for decades. This is before I was born. That ain't our work. Before I was born. <laughs> y'all been telling us that ain't our work. Mm -hmm. That's the government work. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now it's finally been proven that the Nation of Islam had nothing to do with it. Why do you think it took so long? And two, do you guys now feel a, a, a relief or do you feel like there's been too much damage done to the... I guess to the brand. I'll just say it this way. If you believe this U.S. government, go ahead. I really don't care because the people in the hood know for the vast majority. When people get on these platforms and they talk, my only question is, where are you from? Because when you go into inner cities, you see us there. We may not be on every single corner because you're talking about millions and hundreds of millions of people. Come on. You know, so we, we do our best with the numbers that we have. But if you believe that lie, even after these brothers being exonerated, even after Dick Gregory told you that the government was going to get Malcolm, and he told Malcolm the day it happened. He got on the phone with him. And he said, I'm not going to be there because I know today the U.S. government is going to get you. Even after his daughter said that the members who shot my father, uh, specifically Ilyasa Shabazz, she said the members, there were not members of the Nation of Islam who shot my father. Even after Raymond Wood, an undercover NYPD agent just last year, confessed on his deathbed and gave the letter to his cousin. I believe brother or cousin gave it to him where he said that we killed Malcolm Raymond Wood. If you don't know who that is, it, it all continues to come out. However, people say, well, the nation was responsible. The U.S. government, the FBI had agents, not just Eugene Roberts, but Raymond Wood as well. Malcolm was he had so many agents around him to where it's like. You don't want to believe the U.S. government did it because you don't want no smoke with them. You want smoke with your own people. See, it's easy to beat up on a black man all day long if you're a black man. Yeah, that nigga, da, 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 da. do that to the police officer. Mm -hmm. See, see, now wait a minute. See, now again, you gangster. You real gangster when it comes to attacking your own people. But when it comes to a group that is continually, and I'm not advocating for beating up white folk, I'm saying someone who is doing evil deeds towards you for no reason, attacking you, Billy Club beside your head, gun, punching you, whatever, throwing you in the car for no reason. You won't defend yourself mm -hmm. because you, you really, you really don't think you are worthy of being respected. But when it comes to a black man, yeah, that's that nigga right there. Terrifying. See, that disgusting hypocrisy right there is why a lot of us have not moved forward. Because if they witness and recognize, you can't mess with our people. All right. If we did something wrong, OK, we have to suffer the consequences. Sure. If I did that, then OK, then I did that. But if I did not do that. And you're mistreating me for no reason, then I have the right to defend myself. That's the law of nature. Absolutely. So when it comes to the whole Malcolm story, you can believe it because some of you are not even worthy to fight back because you don't want to. You don't. That's the fact. I'm not interested in people talking about guns. Knock it off. The stuff you got is knockoffs. Let's make this clear. All the guns I got is knockoffs. If you don't believe in God and you believe in a gun more than God, that tells me all I need to know. And this is out of love. So people believe the Malcolm thing. There are too many books. There are too many documentaries. There are too many confessions. There are too many people who have already said no, 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 no. It wasn't the nation. No, no, no. Eugene Roberts, Raymond Wood, uh, the documentary on who killed Malcolm was actually pretty decent. It was pretty decent. Um, I recommend you watch Demetric Muhammad on who killed Malcolm X. I recommend you watch Dr. Wesley Muhammad on who killed Malcolm X. And I'm saying you have to have the attention span to go into this because the documents have been released. There's hundreds of pages of this. So if you really want to know, then go ahead and watch those different videos from the people that I have mentioned. Also with Minister Farrakhan uh, with who killed Malcolm X or Malcolm X, what really happened, where he goes over and where he continues to tell the U.S. government, open up the files. Mm -hmm. He said it. Open them up. And show the people who really did it. You know why they didn't want to open up the files publicly? Because they knew who did it. They knew yeah. who did it. And they helped to sponsor it. So 
I don't really get worked up too much about that. It's just really embarrassing. I'm 32 years old, bro. Yeah. That happened before I was born. Yeah. Years before I was born. Now, oh sorry. You know, so yeah, it's kind of it's kind of embarrassing. Kind of like, okay, y'all, men, women, and children. To this day, we all kill Malcolm X. If y'all don't knock this off at this point, stop it. The Nation of Islam has resurrected more lives than anybody you can name to date at this point in America. Second to the Garvey movement, but right next to that, Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Nation of Islam. So, so at this point, it's kind of like give credit where it's due for the good work that's being done. If you want to talk about Malcolm, then maybe you should start eating one meal a day. If you want to say you love Malcolm, stop messing around with white women. Sorry, Adam. Just, just, just <laughs> More Malcolm X. Right. <laughs> just Malcolm X. If you say you love Malcolm X and all that, okay, stop smoking weed because you're talking about Malcolm Little, not Malcolm X. Stop drinking alcohol because he didn't do that. Stop doing what you're doing. All these things that go against what he was believing in and what he was doing because then you can sincerely say you love Malcolm X. If you're doing any one of them things or more, then your love is false. And I have to say that. Knock it off. Because it's, it's a, there's a separation here. You say you love the person because he's gone. Farrakhan been here and you ain't listening to nothing right now. Do you, do you see what you I'm saying? Is, it's, it's, it's because, because too many people don't want to be held accountable. You don't want to change. You don't want to do right. You want to point fingers at everybody else. White man, government, you over there. But you don't want to sit down and say, wait a minute, what am I doing to contribute to the perpetuation of the degradation of my people? What am I doing? You know what? I ain't going to lie, man. I was one of the people that actually thought the nation killed uh, Malcolm X. I'm <laughs> not even going to lie. I'm like, until <laughs> I, you know, I... St- I, shout out to my homie Secure. Um, he let me look at this video, uh, Hidden Colors, that Tyreek did, Tyreek oh, yeah. Nasheed did. And that Brilliant that brother. volume yeah. one, that really lo- it made me really love black people. Then yeah. I really, I start going, you know, I start, you know, uh, looking more into five percenters. Then I start looking more into, you know, your videos and, you know, and I'm like, damn, I really, I, I mean, we really need to be educated on this shit. Like, like, how do we educate our people on this shit? How do we, you know what I'm saying, get educated on financial literacy? I'm like, on, damn, bro. I've been missing so much shit. Mm-hmm. Like, as a black man, I'm like, why are we not being taught this shit? You feel me? Like, how did I just, how, how did I even get, like, even as mm-hmm. a black man and black boy in school, high school, junior high, like, mm-hmm. who the fuck led me to, you know what I'm saying, to, <laughs> to, to understand that the, the nation killed this man? Like, who, Bro. like, how did I get, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did they make me believe it and get brainwashed so early in the game? Because you know? that will happen right there. That is so crazy. That's why they had to convince you, because that right there, what you just went through, will happen. Yes. You start to wake up. It's a trap. That's a, then they can't control you. But mind you, again, if you believe it, hey, go ahead and believe it. All power to you. Pitiful. Sad. But go ahead and believe it. Uh, but if you want to do something to help your people, maybe we should focus on that. Mm-hmm. Because that's where we are right now. So it's kind of like, I don't really necessarily care if you believe it or not. We're in a position where we need to change our condition right now. That's that's where it is for me, personally. There's a, a term 